Hi, uh, Sugarman here. I want to talk to you today about uh, meal time or calculating meal time bolus insulin. How do you work out how much insulin to have at a meal, a meal time? Uh, well, it's a formula we've used uh, in diabetes for quite a while uh, now. It's, uh, it's called the 500 and 100 rule to calculate uh, your, your insulin dosing. So how it works is uh, you get your uh, basal insulin, let's say, the example here, uh, Lancer's 30 units, that's what I take uh, every night. A Pidra, which is a short-acting short mealtime insulin, of course we have Nova Rapid and Humalog as well, the, the three main uh, mealtime uh, insulins. Uh, Pidra, I take roughly on average seven units with each meal, so 21 units. So what I've done is I've rounded down to 50 units, that's my total daily dose of insulin, TDD often referred to in the industry, total daily dose of insulin. Then I used a 500-100 rule. So now I have my total daily dose of insulin, 500 divided by my total daily dose is 10. That's just an example uh, for you by the way, so you get your total daily dose of insulin. 100 divided by 50 equals 2. So what does that mean? That means one unit will cover 10 grams of carbohydrate. For example, if I'm eating 60 grams of carbohydrate at a meal, that's four serves in old money, uh, then I will need six units of insulin. I just simply divide the 60 by the uh, 10 gram increments. So six units of uh, insulin will cover that 60 grams. However, if my sugar level is quite high before lunch or before breakfast or dinner, then uh, I want to have a correction bolus. So what I've done is I've calculated my insulin sensitivity factor, which is the 100 rule, 100 divided by 50 equals 2. In other words, I, know, I now know that one unit will lower me 2 millimoles. For example, uh, if I have a blood glucose level of 16, let's say before lunch, then uh, I simply want to do a quick calculation. So if I'm 16, I want to be 6, my target. Because I want to be 6, uh, I don't want to be below 6, so I want to correct the difference between 6 and 16, which is 10 millimoles. So already you've calculated how much insulin I need to uh, have, which is 5 units. One unit will lower me 2 millimoles, so I need to have 5 units to correct my sugar level. Six units to cover the uh, 60 grams of carbohydrate, one unit will cover 10 grams, six units. Add them together and get 11 units of insulin. Just remember though, when you are uh, doing these calculations manually, then uh, remember that insulin has an offset time of one hour. In other words, insulin doesn't work for one hour. So if I have 11 units of insulin, to correct that 16 units and to uh, deliver it, then insulin doesn't work, uh, so, sorry, the insulin doesn't work for one hour, so I guess I'm right. Uh, so then, whatever my sugar level is within that one hour, I, I'm not gonna have any more insulin. And then I'm not expected to hit my target until four hours later. People often assume or, or often told by their educators or, or uh, some GPs that they should be hitting their target of six millimoles, uh, two hours postprandial, two hours after meals. If you do hit your target two hours after meals, I promise you one thing, you will definitely have a hypo because insulin, mealtime insulin lasts for four hours or has a duration, insulin acting time of four hours. So there's still two hours worth of insulin left working on your blood glucose level, if you like. So it will cause a hypo. So you're not expected to hit your target until at least four hours after you've injected insulin. Alternatively, you can use a bolus calculator, uh, such as the Aviva Expert, which will do it all for you. All you do is prick your finger, it's got these formulas in there, you know, the 100 and 500 rule, and then you tell it what you're eating in grams, and then it will calculate how much insulin uh, to give yourself at mealtime. You've been listening to The Sugar Man. Thank you.